In 2013, Gears for Breakfast, an independent game studio, launched a Kickstarter campaign for their new game called A Hat in Time. The game was described as a Nintendo 64 slash GameCube era 3D platformer inspired by games such as Super Mario 64, The Legend of Zelda, and Banjo-Kazooie. The campaign exceeded its $30,000 goal, reaching nearly $300,000 worth of pledges. After years and years of development, the game was finally released to the public in 2017. The reason why I'm only talking about this game now is because it just recently got its Switch port in October 2019. I've been waiting years to play this game, and it turned out to be one of the few games where the wait was actually worth it. In fact, this game is so good that it made me want to make my first ever game review video. So let's talk about A Hat in Time. In this game, you play as Hat Kid, a little girl who is trying to return home in her spaceship. However, during her journey, a mafia man breaks open her window, causing all of her magical hourglasses to go flying into space. Unfortunately, it just so happens that these hourglasses also fuel your ship. So it's your job to go out and get back all of your hourglasses so you can fly home. The gameplay is very similar to a lot of 3D games, specifically Super Mario Galaxy in my opinion. Your ship acts as the main hub of the game. As you collect more hourglasses, you unlock more of these rooms, which allow you to travel to more worlds. As you enter the first world called Mafia Town, you begin to get some of your necessary items. The umbrella is a simple swing attack, but is very effective against the Mafia. Which is kind of funny to think about, a little kid beating up the Mafia with an umbrella. You also have some really neat moves, such as the double jump, the wall jump, and the wall run. My favorite move though is the jump attack, which allows you to leap at your enemies. The control in this game is just so satisfying. I love it. The levels are really cool and inspired. I don't want to ruin the entire game because I highly recommend that you pick this one up and play it for yourself. But just to name a few, you have Mafia Town, which is a peaceful little town very similar to Delfino Plaza, but you have a bunch of Mafia men all over the place. Actually, some of them even turn out to be friendly. Then all of a sudden, it turns into a horror game where you're hiding from this ghost in her house. This part of the game genuinely scared the crap out of me. Every level is amazing, and it's so fun to just walk around and take everything in. But with all of that being said, I do have to admit that there were a few annoyances I had with this game. First, the camera. If they were going for the same type of cameras in N64 and GameCube games, then I would say that they succeeded. And by that, I mean that there are times when the camera can be difficult to control. It reminds me of games like Super Mario Sunshine and Luigi's Mansion, where the camera can become the cause of your death. Sometimes you just can't move the camera because there's something blocking its path. And the other annoyance I have is with the Switch port. Unfortunately, the Switch port has suffered from some performance issues, the graphics don't look amazing, and I even had some frame drops and stutters while I was playing. Obviously, this isn't really the fault of the developers, rather it's the fault of the Switch's capabilities. From what I've heard, the game runs much better on PCs than consoles. So hashtag PC Master Race. But at the same time, it was nice to have the portable option. And in the end, it didn't make the game completely unplayable, it was just a minor inconvenience. Overall, A Hat in Time does a great job at staying true to its inspiration. It's an incredible 3D platformer that, in my opinion, lives up to the classics such as Super Mario 64 and Banjo-Kazooie. The Hat Kid character is ridiculously cute, the levels are really unique, and the gameplay is very satisfying. And don't just take my word for it, this game has been getting really great scores. 
It even holds overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam. If this game has interested you at all, please go check it out. And if the developers happen to be watching this video, thank you for making an amazing game. I hope that this game has the same impact on newer generations that games such as Super Mario Sunshine and Super Mario Galaxy had on myself. It's seriously within my top 5 games that I've played within the past year. Anyway, let me know in the comments if you guys have played A Hat in Time. And while you're doing that, feel free to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and hit that notification bell. For now, my name is Chase and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.